Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to read a nonfiction book called Gray Squirrels. It is by Gigi Lake. In the very beginning, you can see there is a table of contents that tells us the types of things that we're going to learn and the pages that it's on. Tree Jumpers. A small rodent hops from tree to tree. Its long bushy tail keeps it balanced. The tree jumper is a gray squirrel. Gray squirrels have gray or black fur. Parts of their coats can also be brown. Sometimes their bellies are white. Gray squirrels are found in North America and in Europe. In both places, they live in the woods. So you can see here's a map. Here's Europe. Here's North America. And we live right over here by the letter N. Woodland homes. Gray squirrels' homes are nests and dens. Nests are built high up in tree branches. They are made of leaves and sticks. If you notice, the gray squirrel is very, very camouflaged. Look at him. You can hardly even see him. I know I've seen nests like this right here in the trees where we live. Squirrels live in dens in the winter. Dens are found in hollow trees. Their squirrels stay warm in the cold winter. So it said on this page that they live in nest, looks like during the spring and summer, but then they'll live in a tree, a hollow tree in the winter. Forest food. Gray squirrels eat nuts, flowers, and tree bark. Nuts, flowers, and tree bark. They bury some of their food in the ground. Squirrels eat this food in the winter. Staying safe. Squirrels have a lot of predators. Hawks, owls, raccoons, and foxes hunt them. Gray squirrels stay close to their homes to keep safe. So again, it says things that hunt them, hawks, owls, raccoons, and foxes. Oh, look, this guy's going so fast. Sometimes gray squirrels outrun predators. Their back legs are powerful. Gray squirrels can run up to 20 miles an hour. Baby squirrels. Mother squirrels have two to eight babies twice a year. Babies stay with their mothers for two to three months. Then the young squirrels are ready to leave the nest. Look at those guys, they're so cute. At the end of the book, there is a glossary that has academic vocabulary, just like we're doing in our booklet. So it talks about balance and bark and fur and hunt. So all different things. Then it tells you other books you can read and tells you internet sites that you can go to. At the end, it shows you an index in case you want to go back and look up some of the parts of the book. Thank you for reading.